grid. Uh, being at the front makes so much difference. And for Alex Buncombe, starting in the front on the Nissan, he's got a quick car and a straight line and a good handling car. He can do a lot of good work. Let's have a look at some of the highlights across qualifying, which began with a slippery road. It began with a Ferrari in the wall on the restart. Henrik Hedman had a spin. Of course, that car didn't come out for Q2 nor for Q3. Johnny Adam was one of the stars of the first part of qualifying. Number eight had it off. That was Max Book, and he limped the car back to the pit lane. So Q1 was headed in the end by Rob Bell, and the teams had a limited amount of time in order to get themselves ready for the second part of qualifying, and that was going to be all important to see exactly at what times they could do. But the session began with the road being even wetter, and it meant that there was some hard work to be done as the cars threaded their way around the lap, including a hard-charging Marco Seafried, who was really pushing very, very aggressively indeed. Stefan Ortelli was looking good, but in the end, it was Nico Bastian who was the fastest within Q2 and all eyes then came on to the third part of qualifying where we had uh, Alex Bunker ultimately take the top time away from Lawrence Van Tour and some great efforts put in not just by Bunker but also by Norbert Seidler. Alex Bunker will start on pole from the three of us here at Silverstone. Join us later. In the